everybody welcome back to my channel hope everybody's having a great day today hope everything's going your way today today we're gonna be playing in makeup yes today i'm gonna be doing a look using products that i found when i was shopping my stash yes my overwhelming underutilized stash so if you want to just hang out with me while I do absolutely nothing but playing makeup, then just keep okay, everybody. Let's get started. Man. Okay, guys. So, yeah. Your girl kind of has some where she got to be in about an hour and a half. So, I'm going to try not to make this video too long. But I figured since I got to do my makeup anyway, why not connect with you guys, my peeps, in the process? Today I'll be using products that I probably use maybe once or twice, or not at all. And as always guys, if I like the products, I'll let you know. And if I don't, so let's get started. Okay guys, I've already done my brows off camera because you're And I use my BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Brow Pie Made in Brunette, which unfortunately, guys, has been discontinued. But since I got a little bit left, might as well use it up because it's no use being wasteful. Right? What about these eyes, though? I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics Opalescent 24 Color Shadow Palette. And then looking at the palette, guys, I really like the color story because it actually has... A lot of nice warm tones in there. And then you got your pops of pink and purple. All my favorite colors inside of this palette. All the shades that you need to create a nice soft glam eye look. And today I feel like using some of the pinks and purples in the palette. So that's what we're doing today. That's what we're doing today. But first things first guys. Going in with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer in the color 300. I'm gonna use that to base my eyes today, cause sure. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's pretty much all that is good for. At least for me guys, cause sure. Uh, it leaves my under eye crazy and dries all get out. Okay guys, let's party. First going in with this shade Wish here, I'm going to go ahead and work that in the crease. And I'm actually going to be using my very dirty BH Cosmetics number no. 6 brush from the Bombshell Beauty eyeshadow set. And let's see what it do, what it do, what it do. Guys, this is such a pretty shade. This pigment set is all get out. Guys, this is really a nice, deep, great purple color. Big ups to BH Cosmetics for actually perfecting a purple formula. And now going in with this shade bright, I'm going to use that to blend out Wish. Okay, guys, bright does have a little bit of kick up, but I don't much mind it as long as it's pigmented. And blends like it's supposed to do. Okay, I feel like I need a denser brush. So I'm just going to use a blending brush that I got off of Peachy Queen's website. From one of her sets. And I'm going to see if that works a little better. Oh yeah, that's much better. Guys, I actually love the pink halo that this shade is creating. And now I'm just doing a little blending because that's just what I do. Okay, guys, now the part that everybody came here for the lead. 
what's going on with this shade? Opaline. I'm going to put that on the first half of my lid. And because I'm not cutting the crease today, I'm going to wet my brush. Oh, pretty. Guys, this is like a pink shade with a silver, slight purpley shift. Now going in with this shade Vivacious. I'm gonna put that on the second third of my lid. Oh guys, I really do like this color. It's like a dusty rose pink. Okay, Lily. Dusty rose is pink. You get that gist. And now I'm just taking that shade Wish. I'm just gonna blend it in on my outer corner, outer V. Okay guys, well this is indeed a first impression of the palette. Judge by the shades I use today. This palette is back. This palette is back. So I'm about to go ahead, pop on my lashes, and we'll be back to finish up the rest of this face though. Okay, everybody, I went on ahead, popped on my lashes. These are actually the Hot Diggity Lashes by Bombshell Cosmetics and the Style Popsicle. Yeah. And I actually got these lashes when they were having a 50% off sale. So your girl racked up. And I'm awfully glad I did. Now on the primer, I'm going to be giving this Ula Hendrickson Banana Bright Face Primer a try again. Because, yeah. Um, I did use it once. I don't remember if I liked it. But um, something tells me since it was so rememberable. It might not have been all that. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my face and see what it do, what it do. Oh, guys, but I do love that it smells like oranges. But I do still see every single pore I own in sight. Right. While this does give me a nice luminosity to my face, if I wanted just a full-on beat, this would not be the primer to use for that. I'm just going to go in with my Rimmel Stay Matte, and I'm only going to put it where I have the most pores, which is right in my cheek area. Okay, guys, now on the foundation, I'm going to be using the Catrice Cosmetics HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. It claims to last up to 24 hours. And this is actually my first time using this foundation. But it seems to have been all the rave on the tube at one point in time. So, and instead of a pump, it does come with a dropper. And I don't know which application is the best between a brush and a sponge. So first, I'm going to start with the brush. And this is actually the 301 brush from Real Techniques. It's from their Brush Crush collection. So I'm going to first start with about... Hmm. Hmm. This is pretty inconvenient, guys. I don't know how I feel about these droppers. There we go. So I'm just gonna try a nice, healthy dropper worth. And hopefully that's not too much foundation. Okay, guys, so far it looks like it might be my shade. Maybe a little yellow, but... I can make it work. Guys, I'm really impressed with this coverage. And I actually do love how it applies with a brush. 
But just for kicks. I'm gonna try and blend it out with a sponge on the other side. Okay guys, while well, it does go on nice and natural with a sponge, I much prefer the brush application. And it does have a scent to it guys. It almost smells a little bit like baby powder. Not like it's an overbearing fragrance, but just know it does have a scent. Guys, I know this is a first impression, but judging from how it's performing today, I love this foundation. Okay guys, now on the concealer, I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. And this is in the shade Golden Natural. And I actually used this concealer in my last makeup therapy video, and I quite enjoy it. And I don't know what it is that people always want to compare a concealer to the tar shape tape. Cause frankly, guys, at this point, tar shape tape is a little overrated. But that's just my opinion. You guys already know I like to let my concealer set for about a minute. Then I blend it out because I find that's how you get the most coverage. Guys, look at that coverage. And while I do still swear by my L'Oreal concealer, this definitely comes a close second. Okay guys, I have no new satin powders to show you. So I'm just going in with my CoverGirl Clean Professional Loose Powder in Medium. And to set the rest of my face, I'm going to try this Catrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder. It claims to be waterproof and it claims to be transparent. But it's pretty white, so I hope it doesn't leave me looking ghostly. But I should be all right, cause uh, it's the broad daylight. So I shouldn't have to worry about flash photography. Okay guys, so far it does look pretty transparent to me. Guys, this powder makes my face look so airbrushed. Not bad guys. Not bad at all. Okay guys, now on the bronzer. I'm gonna be using the Lime Crime Sun Kiss Face Palette. Guys, this palette is so stinking cute. It actually comes with a bronzer, a bronzer topper or a highlight for my darker skin beauties. It comes with two blushes and two highlights. So I'm gonna be taking this shade Salty I'm gonna use that to bronze up my skin. Let's see what it do, what it do, what it do. Eh. And the mirror is quite unusable because yeah, it has an orange hue to it. Trying to play Jedi mind tricks, are we lying crying? Okay, guys. That does give me a nice bronze. It's easy to blend. Okay guys, I must admit, your girl was a little skeptical with whether that bronze was gonna show up on my face, but it built up rather nicely. So I would say maybe one, two, even three shades darker than me, you can get a nice bronze. So, on the blush, I'm gonna be using the Cover X Monochromatic Blush Duo. And I actually have the shade Warm Honey. And guys, this shade is so stinking cute. But I'm sure you guys already know that cause yeah, there's just only a million and one videos out there on the tool highlighting this shade. But for the sake of the video, entertain your girl. And act like this is your first time ever seeing this shade. I've heard this quite pigments, guys, so I'm gonna go in and with a light hand. Ooh. 
That's pretty. But yeah. Guys. That's a pretty shade. I know I said I was going to go with a light hand, but yeah. For your girl here. A light hand is subjective. Put some on this nose. Just for kicks. I'm going to go ahead and try a little bit of the blush top. That's cute. It's not too shiny. It adds a nice glow. It just really makes you look healthy. And going in with these shade Sundays from the Lime Crime Sun Kiss Face Palette, I'm going to use that for a highlight. Uh, whoa. Okay, guys. Um. That highlights a little light for me, but let me make the mistake on the other side, and then I'ma fix it. I'm gonna go ahead and with this shade Malibu Bass, I'ma place it on top of the Sunday shade to see if I can tone down this brightness. But one thing that can't be denied, guys, this is definitely a blinding highlight. Guys, when using this lime crime highlight, you better be careful, cause yeah. Uh, once you apply it to your face, yeah. You gotta commit. Okay guys, and because I wanna pop a color in the waterline, I'm going in with this ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. This is in the shade Insomniac. It's a pretty bright pink. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my waterline right quick. Okay guys, and finishing up the eyes, First, I'm going in with Wish, and I'm going to put that directly underneath my waterline. And then I'm just taking the shape right, and I'm going directly underneath Wish. Then going in with this shade Magic, I'm going to put that in my inner corner. Oh yeah, that's cute. That is crooker, crooker, crooker. Guys, it's like a periwinkle purple. Then I'm gonna take this shade Twilight and pop it underneath my brow bone. Okay guys, now finally, on the lips. First, I'm gonna line my lips with the Italia Deluxe Lip Liner in Black Current. And by line, I mean overline. Then I'm going in with a lip gloss. I'm going to be using the Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper. And this is in the shade Pink Quartz. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to my lips. Ugh. Guys, that's a pretty shade. Oh, yeah. That's crook. That is crook, 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 And to set it all in place, guys, I'm going to be using the Catrice Illuminating Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. And this renovation is over. Okay, everybody, here's the finished look. I don't have to say it, but I'm going to say it anyway. I like how this turned out. Yes, guys, so. And dare I say this is a first for Lily, because uh, I'm happy with every single thing I used today. Not only did I love the finish of the Catrice Foundation, but it was actually in my shape. And for once, I used a waterproof transparent setting powder that was actually transparent. And not only is the formula of the opalescent palette top notch, 
for my darker skin beauties out there who are a little skeptical. While some shades in the palette most definitely look like they may be uncooked chicken, use the right base on your eyelid and you will most definitely get a bomb.com eye look. So needless to say guys, I'm happy with every single product I use. And while tomorrow may in fact be a different story, there are most definitely no losers today. And in closing, guys, I'd like to thank each and every one of you guys, my peeps, for your well wishes and prayers regarding my mental health. I am getting better and better each day. While each day still comes with its own set of challenges, it most definitely still comes with its own separate blessings and victories. And just remember, guys, while it may seem like we're still not our best self today, we are most definitely better than some will be tomorrow. So I really want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today while I did absolutely nothing but playing makeup. Yeah. I always love connecting with you guys, my peeps. Every chance I get. Every chance I get. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. It only gets greater lighter, guys. It only gets greater lighter. So until next time, guys, stay real, stay positive, stay up, and damn it, you better watch, fight, and pray. Slow mo's, please.